Hi, welcome to Nonchef video tutorial. It's a follow up to the last one. I want to show you another more conventional or even obvious way to do that cylinder. And I want to start with a sketch on the front plane. And that might be a rectangle, maybe like that, and make it collinear up. Where's that collinear? symbol a coincidence so this should go to that plane and I need a dimension and that dimension should be 136 divided by 2 okay and of course those two points should be coincident great leave that sketch and let's make a revolve so go for revolve and it should be a solid yes select it and the axis could be this one and confirm i will need another sketch on the front plane another rectangle Again, this and that line should be aligned, so go for coincident like this. The dimension should be 75, and that dimension should be 1.67, and of course. this point here and the origin should be aligned vertical like that confirm let's make another revolve it should be added yes that's the sketch and the axis is again on this one it should merge yes with part four and confirm Let's go for a linear pattern. Okay, it should be a feature pattern. I want to pattern that revolve here. Direction would be along that axis, but the other way around. Spacing is 6.67, and I need 31 instances. So have I to apply per distance, per instance? Yes. And confirm. Nice. And then another sketch on the front plane. Over here. And it's a rectangle. And it should be 7 by 47. Let's see if we can do that. Fill it with 7 millimeters. I don't think so. So this should be 7. And if you want to do that fillet here with 7 millimeters, it might not work. So if you go for this one and make it seven let's see what happens yeah it does work great now another dimension from this line to that point here and this should be 47 okay and the distance from this point to that here should be again 74.999 and go for coincident this line should be in that plane confirm now let's make a revolve with that sketch here the revolve axis is this one confirm and now I can go for a circular pattern and 
Again, it's a feature pattern. That would be the revolve here. The axis is this one, and I need four instances, yes. And obviously I have to apply per instance. And confirm. Great. Now we can remove some material. Let's go for that one here. Yeah, make it symmetric, make it 200. Confirm. And then I need a hole. And therefore I might need a point, sketch point. So I could do a sketch on that plane with two points. That should do the trick. So one point would be the center of this one, or just here, like that. And the other one would be the center of this one here, like this one. Confirm. Now let's do the holes. So go for the hole. Tool 1020, yes. Flat over here. Now it's selected, yes. And let's make a circular pattern. Again, it's a feature pattern. It's that hole. Access this one. Confirm. And the last hole will be, let's make it visible, here. And that diameter would be 1, 2, 6. And it should go through like that. And confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabGuard, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.